We all know it's there. It's the one thing that will absolutely affect every single person in this room at some point during their lifetime. And that is stress. And stress, as we know, is bad, right down to the bone. It remains unseen and rarely thought of during our lifetime. But the human skeleton is the foundation of our biological selves. And as we physically experience our life, so too does our skeleton. This is a key component of archaeological research and our ability to understand past populations and, more importantly, apply that knowledge to our species today. Because the skeleton adapts and changes over an individual's lifetime, this hard tissue of the body acts as a record keeper, capturing fluctuations in bone structure which can then be associated with various types of stress. Stress, as we all know, disrupts our biological system and can be caused by multiple factors. During times of stress, our body activates what we know as the fight or flight response, and in doing so, releases steroids into our biological system. While the short-term release of these steroids helps us to overcome stress, long-term or chronic release leads to skeletal damage. And this is the foundation of my research on the threshold of stress. When stress steroids are released into the body, they saturate all tissues. However, some tissues or regions of the body contain more receptors for these steroids than others, making them more vulnerable to the effects of stress. Using then this knowledge of steroid behavior and specific tissue response, it's my goal to track the skeletal markers of stress and to then compare these physical markers with the chemical byproducts of stress that preserve an ancient bone. By comparing the frequency of these physical markers to chemical signatures in bone, it may be possible to establish a sequential order of vulnerability, effectively telling us where stress will strike first. When used archaeologically, this understanding of stress thresholds will help us better pinpoint key moments in the human history of health such as agricultural transitions or the spread of epidemics, and how those events shape our understanding of health today. Stress is a daily occurrence for many of us that can drastically affect our well-being. And what better way to truly understand stress than by exploring its past and potential impact on the future through the unique structure of the human skeleton. Thank you.